All right, work, man, work was dreadful today. It was, it was just stressed me out. So I'm here at Target. I'm gonna take my chances. We're gonna go see what we find. That's really cool. That's cool, but I can't imagine that it would be easy to play or that it would play very well. I mean, I'm sure it plays, I'm sure it can emulate it well, but playing well, I don't know. Both of these are awesome. These would be cool for the garage. Put them over each system as I build the shelf for the systems. I like how they light up. That's really solid. That is really cool, actually. That's cool. I'm pretty sure it's just like the one I have on my shelf. And then there's a Goomba down here, but I'm also pretty sure I've got this Goomba on my shelf. I don't know, this Goomba feels really soft. Maybe this is a Goomba I don't have. All of this is really cool. Like, all of it's really cool. I really like these Jasons. Very solid. But I told myself that before I buy any more of these, I already have a Freddy, and I'm going to finish my display by buying four Ghostbusters that can combat him from the Plasma series, so we're not touching that. This thing I wasn't expecting at all. That's a huge box, too. I'm not sure why it's different than the other boxes, what it comes with necessarily, or if he's actually that big. Maybe that sword is huge or something that's really cool i i don't think i have v yet for this collection though so new gundam i'm sorry i said v but yeah i'd, I'd need new before i actually bought into this now there's v gundam right there speaking of which these turtles versus street fighter are cool looking but like these turtles look like man look at mikey what is wrong with him does leo look any better is he uh, he doesn't look as crazy as Mike. All of them look kind of wild, though. Man, just a thought. But remember, remember when we were kids and Legos did not like Lego did not license anything. They just simply, absolutely did not license anything. We didn't have Mario and we didn't have Thor or anything like that. I remember there was space Legos, night Legos, Western Legos, things of that nature. We didn't have anything like this. This is the Star Wars Lego. I remember I built an X-Wing on my own. They didn't make them back then. I had to, I had to make it on my own. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's really cool now that all this stuff exists. Uh, and this adult series thing that's coming out, which I imagine that's what this is, is adult series stuff. Not necessarily this over here, but this right here and some of the other stuff that I've seen in the aisle that's very much taking like a massive, that's a $200 question block. I don't know, I don't know any parent that's buying that for their kid. I'm pretty sure that's an adult collector item, but I'm just, I'm just making conversation. This is, it's just really cool to see how lego has come in the years like i i build these i build these minecraft with my with my daughter because that's what she likes so i build these and it's like going back for me it's so cool yeah that's what i'm talking about there's like these adult collector line series now that are really solid like some of the coolest build i bought uh my dad has uh beetles for that and I've, I've often I've, I've checked almost every time to see if they've got his car but they don't have his car yet man that would be so cool because if they had his car I'd buy it for him I know he'd build it I see these all the time and this is just a line that I do not buy I thought about this but I bought one Wonder Woman I bought the metal Wonder Woman and I was very excited until I got her home and her posability is awful and her sword was bent and she doesn't stand up well on her own and she needs a lot of help and it's not balanced well. I really don't care for them. But some of the things I've seen from the line like this clay face are absolutely awesome. I would set this around with a couple of my Batman and be perfectly happy. My wife would love this. I don't know what the idea is exactly, if it's supposed to be like feel like it's made from yarn or something like that but the way that it's done I'm telling you my wife would really love that got to the main aisle that I frequent uh this is all Jurassic Park and everything my daughter every time we come to the store she wants to come look at the dinosaurs so we always make a stop here let's see what do we got going on beast man got him got him got jitsu got Got the Sorceress, of course, you know that. I don't care about that. I don't care about Stratos. Sorry, Stratos fans. I've got her. Oh, I've got him. Oh my, I've got King. I've got Hordak. Oh, what a shame. It looks like the only thing close 
to sitting here that I don't have is the Sunman pack. And quite honestly, I'm not overly thrilled with the Sunman characters. I don't hate them by any means. In fact, I want his redesign for Masterverse. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. But I'm not... Oh, I don't know. These two, I wouldn't mind. This guy's kind of, eh, for me. But these two wouldn't be bad. He reminds me of Ganon. And he is kind of cool. I think I would take this cape thing off, this wild sun thing, but I really like that they're like flaming wings on the new one. All right, so I didn't buy anything. I didn't, I didn't get anything. And I know that for some people that might be like a wasted trip, but you know, I gotta be honest with you. There's something about just being able to come out look through toys, talk about toys, reminisce, talk about what what my daughter likes, what I like, see some things, window shop. It's a weird thing that I think only really toy collectors understand, but there's, there's something in this that just simply being able to disconnect for a moment, walk through the toy aisle, look at some items, and even if you can't get them, get ideas or or understand your collection a little better, or say what you would and wouldn't get, or fantasize about the idea if money wasn't an issue, or maybe you find something that just shocks you, or maybe you remember something from the past, or maybe it kind of makes you look into your collection a little bit and say, you know, I think that's the next thing I'm gunning for, or this is what I'm gonna do, or that would be a cool display item, this would be a cool piece, or this might be a thing to literally build a collection around, or or uh, you know, maybe, maybe I don't really feel the way that I feel about this, or some it's just, it's hard to explain, but there's something that helps collectors disconnect for just a moment to relax, to disappear, to fall into your own world, to think about your collection. And I needed that. I needed that so bad. I'm in a thousand percent better mood than I was when I got off of work. So now I guess that's it. We checked out the aisles, didn't find anything this time. Well, that's arguable. I thought about some things, but I didn't pick anything up. Who knows? Maybe next time there's supposed to be a convention this weekend. Maybe I'll go to that. And if the show is really good, maybe I'll pick something up there. And that's probably a better idea to keep my money for that. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that I got no physical item out of this, but I did get something out of it because I legit feel better after walking through the toy aisle than I did when I went in. And that's something that, man, I don't even know if you can... That's something you can't buy. It is. Catch you later, guys.